Hi there. So for this question then, we were given the parametric equations here and asked to find the Cartesian equation for the curve in the form y equals some function of x. So in order to do this, what I need to do is eliminate t between these two equations. So I'm going to number the two equations for references 1 and 2. And I think the easiest one, obviously, to work with is this equation 1 here. So if we make t the subject from that first equation, then if I add 1 to both sides, divide by 2, then I'm going to get t equaling x plus 1, all divided by 2. So we've got that. I'll call that 3 and then what I'm going to do is substitute 3 into 2 okay and doing that what we've got then is therefore y equals 4 times t so 4 times all of x plus 1 over 2 and then we've got the minus 7 and then plus 3 divided by all of t. So that's going to be x plus 1 over 2 there. So I need to clean this up. For this term here I can multiply top and bottom by 2. So if I do that and also I can clean up this first term here I can see that that 2 goes into that 4 there twice. So what we've got then, if I expand the bracket at the same time, is you've got 2 times x, that's 2x, 2 times 1, that's 2, and then you've got the minus 7, and as I said earlier, if you times top and bottom here by 2, you've got 3 times 2, which is 6, and that's going to be all over x plus 1. Okay? Let's just work our way down this side here. So what I would want to do now is just tidy this up. I'm going to put it all over a lowest common multiple of x plus 1. So we've got y equals and then we'll have that denominator there as x plus 1. So I've got 2 minus 7, that's going to be minus 5. And so I would have 2x minus 5, and I'm going to multiply that then with the x plus 1. So I'll put that in brackets, 2x minus 5, and that's multiplied with the x plus 1. So that term there would just leave me with 2x minus 5, because those 2x plus 1s would cancel. Okay, so that takes care of that. And we've got the plus 6 now that's left, and that would be over x plus 1. So just need to expand the bracket here. So if we do that, we've got 2x times x, which is 2x squared. And then you've got 2x times 1, that's 2x minus 5x. That's going to leave me with minus 3x. And then you have got minus 5 times the 1 is minus 5 plus the 6, that's going to be plus 1, okay? And that's all over x plus 1. And now I can see that this is in the form that we were asked to give. That form, remember, then was 2x squared plus ax plus b, all over x plus 1. And we had to give it in this form, stating the values of a and b. So I'm just going to finish by saying where a clearly is equal to the minus 3 here, and the b is equal to 1. Okay, so there we go. All right.